The BRICS Ministers of Foreign Affairs and International Relations recently had a meeting in Cape Town, South Africa, where they discussed various global and regional issues. They emphasized their commitment to strengthening cooperation within BRICS, focusing on three pillars, political and security, economical and financial, and cultural and people-to-people -people cooperation. They emphasized values such as mutual respect, equality, solidarity, openness, inclusiveness, and consensus. One of the key points highlighted by the ministers was the importance of multilateralism and upholding international law, particularly the principles enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations. They emphasized the central role of the UN in maintaining peace and security, promoting sustainable development, protecting democracy, human rights, and fundamental freedoms. They also expressed concerns about the negative effects of unilateral coercive measures which go against UN principles, especially for developing countries. They called for enhancing global governance and making the international and multilateral system more agile, effective, efficient, representative and accountable. The ministers also discussed the need for reform within the United Nations. They emphasized the importance of a comprehensive reform of the UN Security Council and General Assembly to make them more representative, effective and efficient. They spotlighted the need to increase the representation of developing countries within these organs to better address global challenges. China and Russia specifically supported Brazil, India and South Africa in our aspirations to play a greater role in the UN. The ministers recognized the significance of the G20 as a premier multilateral forum for economic cooperation. They looked forward to the successful hosting of the 18th G20 summit under the Indian G20 presidency. They also acknowledged the opportunities presented by India, Brazil and South Africa chairing the G20 from 2023 all the way through to 2025 and expressed support for continuity and collaboration during their presidencies. An urgent call for the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, emphasizing the balanced and integrated approach across economic, social and environmental dimensions came from all ministers. They highlighted the upcoming Sustainable Development Goals Summit as an opportunity to renew international commitment to the 2030 Agenda. Regarding international trade, the ministers expressed their support for a free, open, transparent, fair and rules-based multilateral trading system with the World Trade Organization at its core. They emphasized the need for special and differential treatment for developing countries, including the least developed countries. They called for positive outcomes and meaningful progress in the 13th Ministerial conference of the WTO, they condemned unilateral protectionist measures and discriminatory practices under the guise of environmental concerns. The minister stressed the importance of a robust global financial safety net centered around a well-resourced international monetary fund. They called for the continuation of IMF governance reform, including the completion of the 16th General Review of Quotas. They also congratulated Dilma Rousseff, former president of Brazil, as the president of the New Development Bank and expressed confidence in the NDB's contribution to its mandate as a premier multilateral development institution. Financial inclusion was another area of focus for the ministers. They recognized the importance of ensuring that citizens can benefit from economic growth and prosperity. They welcomed the technological instruments developed by BRICS countries that promote financial inclusion and enable citizens to participate fully in the formal economy. A large emphasis was put on the use of local currencies in international trade and financial transactions between BRICS countries and their trading partners as a means of strengthening economic cooperation. Energy security was highlighted as crucial for economic development, social stability and national security and the welfare of all nations. The ministers called for resilient global supply chains, stable energy demand and universal access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy sources. They stressed the importance of protecting critical energy infrastructure and condemned targeted terrorist attacks. They emphasized the need for cooperation in ensuring the security of energy supply chains and promoting the use of clean and renewable energy sources to address climate change. On the issue of global health challenges, the need for global solidarity in responding to public health emergencies was highlighted. The ministers emphasized the importance of equitable access to vaccines, diagnoses, and therapeutics, as well as the strengthening of health systems to ensure preparedness for future pandemics.
In the realm of digital technology, the ministers recognize the transformative power it holds for economic growth and development. They emphasize the importance of bridging the digital divide, enhancing digital connectivity, and promoting affordable and secure access to digital technologies. They also highlighted the need to address challenges related to cybersecurity, data protection, and privacy. The ministers acknowledged the importance of people-to-people exchanges and cultural cooperation in fostering mutual understanding and friendship among the BRICS countries. They encourage greater collaboration in the fields of education, science, technology and innovation and also express support for initiatives that promote cultural diversity and preserve our cultural heritage. There's an overall expression of their commitment to sustainable development and environmental protection. The ministers emphasize the need for joint efforts in addressing climate change, biodiversity loss, and marine population. They called for the full implementation of the Paris Agreement and the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. The BRICS Ministers of Foreign Affairs and International Relations reaffirmed their commitment to strengthening cooperation within BRICS and promoting a multipolar, democratic and equitable world order. They highlighted the importance of multilateralism, the United Nations and the international law in addressing global challenges. They emphasized the need for reform in global governance institutions and expressed support for the G20, WTO and IMF. They also underscored the significance of sustainable development, digital technology, cultural cooperation, and addressing global health and environmental issues. That's what the ministers had to say. What would you think are some of the important things that we need to discuss to continue with this conversation, developing a decentralized, people-run, people-centered system that is focused on creating more freedom and spreading more kindness?